Hi guys, I just wanna say thank you for your support and I'm sorry, I'm okay. Uh, it wasn't my day, it was Jessica day. So big uh, gratulation for Jessica and give me some time and I'll be back stronger, yep, stronger I promise you. Darren, first and foremost, congratulations. Absolutely incredible performance. The best one we I've seen here. yet. <laughs> yeah, we, we out here. You don't want these hands. You don't want these hands. <laughs> Listen, I said to Kenny, as you walked into the octagon, I said, you looked like you had a lot of pressure. You looked like you had the weight of the world on your back. Did you feel like yeah, you had to put on a, an extra powerful performance tonight to try and get the respect that you rightly deserve? You know, you know, Bismarck, to be honest, I, you're right. I did have a lot of pressure on me, but it wasn't for the respect because I went out there and I finished Aaron Till. Um, I still heard a couple of boos in the sand, so you never know what the fans are going to say. You can't force your perspective on them. But, you know, when I think about my team and my family and everybody who's riding on me and different projects that I have going on outside the octagon, everything really depends on you being victorious. The platform that you have as a champion is not the same as a challenger. So, obviously, I want to continue to be the champion. I haven't finished in the sport yet. I'm not, you know, I haven't reached the, the, the goal that I wanted to. It's been legendary and the greatest welterweight of all time. So I got a lot of work to do. So I need to be the champion to solidify that. So you're right, it was a lot of pressure, but not so much to go out there and perform differently for the fans, but more so I had a lot riding. You know, Tyron, everyone talks about George St. Pierre being the best welterweight of all time, but, you know, the sport is evolving. You know, the, the fighters are tougher. Do you feel like you need to beat George St. Pierre to be the best welterweight of all time? I thought that for a while, you know, and, and I've kind of gotten over it. George St. Pierre doesn't have to fight me. You know, he did what he had to do. He went, um, you know, nine plus um, title defenses. He beat the best of the best at the time. He didn't just beat any cans. The guys that George St. Pierre beat was the very best mixed martial artists that they had. Agreed. You know, my, my GOAT status is going to be the guys are new. They're freestyle fighters. Everybody's so well-rounded. They're so athletic. They're so explosive. It's a different generation of fighter. And those are the guys that I'm beating. So that's what I'm going to bank on to get my GOAT status. You know, plenty of great days ahead. But I wonder, does this close the door on the welterweight division for you? Or, or does this loss maybe kind of reignite a fire to, to, to keep chasing it? I don't know. It's... That's the that's the, the good question to ask right now. Uh, I don't really know how to give you a straight answer right now. Uh, you know, <clears throat> the weight cut was easy. The weight cut was really easy. I, I mean, I, I, as soon as the fight got announced, I was eating clean, but I was still eating normally. Like, you know, I wasn't deprived myself. And then as soon as I got to Vegas, three weeks out, that's when I was eating incredibly clean, but I was still eating a lot. That day, is, you guys came to the Institute was the day where I'd cut back on a lot of stuff, but I was still okay, but I was just, you know, pissed off with dieting. But in my mind, I can still do three weeks and 
make weight like that again. So it's it's a tough one. It's all as you say. It's down to me, you know, Colin. No matter what I say, I'll still always listen to him 100. Uh, percent I don't know. I just it just pisses me off that someone was better than me tonight. It really does. Like I had to walk past them, and I've got the utmost respect for anyone who fights. But I just uh, I can't live with myself knowing that. Tonight he was better than me. He's not a better fighter than me, but tonight he was better than It does really, it kills me inside, it does. I'm not gonna lie, it kills me inside. It hasn't affected me in any way. I'm still a mentally tough, most toughest motherfucker out there. But, fucking, I've lost very few times in my life. I really have. You, know, you just didn't know me before MMA. And, you know, I lost three times. I actually lost for a world title in Canada. And that was bitter, it was, that was just horrible for me and uh, it's just it's one of them things I've, I'll face it head on the, you, you know it's all ups it's all ups since, since I made me come back last year you know you, you got to remember I only came back last year after an 18 month lay, 18 month layoff fought in Sweden Rotterdam Poland then I fought in you know Liverpool and now 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 Texas it's it's been a ride for me and, the, the losses came tonight. Listen, the, there'll probably be another loss. But, as I say, I'm, st I am still going to be the greatest fighter of all time. I know I am. This doesn't change anything. It's just, as I say, I can't lie to you right now. I, I'm, 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 I'm upset. I'm, I'm broken. I'm hurt tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm a hurt person. Nice. It's hard. Last thing for me. Lay out what happens next. I mean, everybody's pointing to Colby Covington and saying that's the fight they want to see. Is it? Is that the fight you want at all? Is it the dude that needs the Claritin? The Zyrtec? <laughs> My God. This guy had his chance. He let Darren Till go out there and take his whooping for him. He tried to pause and try to wait to a bigger pay-per-view because his eyes got big. Um, my thing is I'm going to fight anybody. I'm the best in the world. Anybody put in front of me, they're going to get beat up. If it's Kobe Covington, if it's Usman, if it's Robert Whitaker, if it's whoever they want me to fight, we're going to do it. So what needs to happen is they're going to call my manager. They're going to make me an offer for a fight. And if it makes sense for me, it's going to happen. So I'm not saying I am going to fight him because I don't feel like he deserves my platform right now. He had the chance to be here. Um, he, he bitched out, if you want to be honest and frank. He talked all that crap, and then he got in the hot seat. The second he won that belt, I said, let's come get this smoke. He got quiet. Instagram accounts got taken down for a brief moment, and he didn't say nothing. So I think it's an embarrassment to the sport, and if, if that's the next person that's got to get to work, you won't have to, you won't have to do much to get me up for that fight. So we'll see. Um, I'll talk to my manager and whoever... Whoever they talk to, they're going to they gonna call next week. They, they already kind of know what they want to do, so you guys are here pretty soon. Uh, Tyron, I guess just off off the back of that, is, is UFC 230, like, in the realms of possibility? I mean, you... Was that Madison Square Garden? Yeah. That's why I had that fight in the night, didn't I? I mean, it, could, could you do it? You, you didn't even take a single strike tonight. You know, um, I think I can do it. Was that November what? November third, yeah, I can do that. Why are y'all looking at? Yeah, I can fight in November. Is that is that is that what y'all trying to get? I mean, they haven't got a main event at the moment. Oh, they ain't got a main event. Well, where my manager at anyway? <laughs> where is he at? You know, um, let me say this: I'm here to stay. It's the Woodley Way Division. I'm excited to be back. Um, as I told you guys before, I don't really believe in ring rust. You know, my mind stays sharp. You know, I was able to train a lot of different tools that you guys saw tonight and really disguise my right hand. And the more I fight, the better I get. And the more comfortable I get, the more confident I get. So I want to stay as active as possible. Um, if November is the date that they're looking for a main event, I think they got their guy.